Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap live trading webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Good morning, traders, <clears throat> and uh, we'll go through live analysis here Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. We have live trading with J Trader, Stocks Trader on Wednesday. We have uh, Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, on Thursday. We also have Tom B uh, every weekday. Uh, he's a futures trader looking at volume profile uh, at 11:30 uh, every day. Uh, these are all East Coast times here. Uh, we also have uh, Rain, uh, uh, who is streaming uh, crypto uh, live analysis uh, every day, every weekday. So we have quite quite a lineup for you, uh, and uh, and growing more and more. So uh, this is all uh, free, uh, and it is all order flow. Uh, we use Bookmap here, uh, going through the order flow at a very high level. We are also um, uh, we have an educational course. This is all based off of that educational course, so you can really put the pieces together. We're here for you to support you with your educational needs. All right, so let's uh, jump in here. Oh, we need to go through the risk disclosure, uh, general disclosure, all book map limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so it's all for education. Let's jump right in. Let's take a look at these markets and see what's going on. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, we're looking at the S&P, uh, happy to look at uh, whatever you guys want to look at. This is typically the most popular market and what everyone wants to look at, so this is what we cover. We can also look at some stocks uh, and cryptocurrencies as well. Uh, just let me know uh, and we'll try to look at uh, as many as we can. Uh, usually though it, it kind of we look at two or three or four, and then it kind of peters out from there. So, uh, good morning, Guido. Welcome back. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's uh, jump in here and take a look. Good morning, Bert. And Luis, or Louis Winthrop the third. Yes, hopefully we're all becoming millionaires here, um, a billionaires. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, all right. So S and P. Let's uh, take take a look here. Well, you can see the um, uh, from uh, the uh, overnight session here, uh, we're moving to the upside here. The, the, the trend to the upside is continuing. Uh, strong move here. Uh, so um, uh, pretty, pretty nice move, like, uh, uh, you know, 40 or 50 uh, S&P points here. Uh, so you can see the uh, strong volume really picked up here uh, at the kind of European or London Open. Uh, and then uh, we continued here. Uh, around what time is this this is around 6 30 uh, US uh, East Coast time uh, and you can see look at the retest back to where it came from here okay we we cover this all the time uh, and uh, here's our cash open right to to go higher retest back down here do they mean business do people really want to buy down here yes they do here's the 930 cash open uh, and um, <laughs> and you can see the move on up. Where did it go? Well, high liquidity uh, here, 80, uh, 82 and a half. Um, and uh, haven't gotten to 90 yet, but that's the uh, next level of high liquidity uh, if we see more buyers come in. If we see more sellers come in, well, first one would probably be around here, around uh, 77. Uh, there's some here at 75, also down at 70. And we'll go through reading of the order flow here in the different scenarios. Uh, to understand what's going on uh, and we'll give insight to where we think price is going to move next based on the order flow. So the more objective we are at understanding the order flow, the more likely the probability of it going and visiting those areas. Uh, and that's where you can get an edge here uh, using order flow. All right. So uh, anyway, let's take also a look here at the bigger picture. We'll start there. Uh, and um, the um, uh, we have the daily here on the left hand side in the right or in the middle we have the uh, hourly and then on the right hand side we have the 15 minute so on the daily chart these all last week last monday we drew these two lines in uh, and looking for if if we're going to find sellers in here this is where we're looking to come back down to uh, if we find buyers in here 
Uh, then we're looking for up into these areas here. Uh, and uh, to kind of test uh, the sellers up here uh, in these areas, because that's where they were previously. In this, It's a zone in here. And uh, the first test we were looking for was around 60. Uh, and then the zone, uh, you know, you can see there's still wicks up here, uh, 84. And then up here around 4,200. Looks like we want to go to 4,200. We see today uh, we did have a retest back down here on the daily in this little area around 26 or so. And we have some strong buying coming in. Okay, so let's see if we can get back up into some of these areas here. We're already, we've already tested this 84. Uh, today. Uh, so uh, now we're looking for this kind of 98 to, to 4200 uh, area here. So here's our test into 84 up in here. Okay, makes sense. We're aligned now. We have the higher or longer uh, time frame here on the daily, those swings. And we're looking at some of these areas up in here uh, to test. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, so uh, here it is right in front of us. All right, now what's the reaction? after that test that's what we want to ascertain and uh, if we take a look at it here it's um, it's kind of all over the place uh, I would definitely give it more to the buy side uh, because look at the the um, the buyers coming in here 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 still more buyers some sellers on some of the swings to the downside uh, some selling down here not a whole lot though it's still mostly buyers all right, so a retest back up here, 87 looks really good. Let's take a look right now. All right, so uh, what about this move down here? Are sellers firmly in control? No, they're not. Here's why. Majority of that selling is in this little area here. We're already above it. Okay, now if it was strong, consistent selling from this area here on down, that would be different. Okay, we don't see that. So I'm looking for buyers to come back in here uh, and try to trade it back up into 85 to 87. All right, so let's, that's the first thing uh, we're looking at here. Let's take a look at some, um, uh, some other things here. We have our structure here. We know that there's some trap sellers down here. We're retesting there. Okay, so now if we think it, if price, scenario number one is price is coming up here, okay, based on what we just covered. Do we find sellers back down here again? Not too many, not too many. We had buyers up here, right? So now we're looking for the bid here in bookmap to, to light up here. We wanna see demand at a higher level in here. Uh, and then we'd, we'd love to see uh, the reaction to that demand be buyers like green dots here. This is These are the aggressors that move price. And we wanna see them move it back up into to, like, yeah, 85 is coming in, but really it's up here around this 87 level. That's where we're looking for the test. Okay, so here's some liquidity. It's, it's further down uh, on the bid here, but we have a reaction. Looking for buyers now to extend it here right now to 85. There we go. Let's get to 87 now. Okay, immediate pullback after hitting 85. Okay, pretty strong move though. Nice stop run there. Okay, this is our stops and iceberg indicator. It's an add-on for, uh, you have to have rhythmic data. <clears throat> okay, any, there was plenty of time to get involved in that too for like a two-point scalp. This is not a scalping room, nor is this a trading room. This is an order flow reading room. All right, so uh, what we're going over here uh, is um, uh, understanding uh, the condition of the orders, the participants. That's what we're reading in here. And we went through the whole process here, and then we're looking for that move uh, higher here. Okay, now, it only went to 85, and we're right back down here to retest it again. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at this here. So are we finding lots of sellers down here? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay. So if the sellers are going to continue here, maybe we'll get one more spike to the downside here. Look for the swings. If not, where we'd be looking for these sellers to be upended is above 82 and a half or 82 and three quarters here. Okay, great. So the scenario would be, let's see if we can get back up here with buying pressure. If we don't and we see the selling coming in like this, 
most likely is liquidity down here at 77. Okay, this this keep an eye out though. Uh, this might be a false breakdown and then a move back up. Okay, selling is pretty strong though, so I'm looking for sellers to to actually continue here uh, to 77. Okay, this was actually a false breakout. Okay, so. It's a little tricky in here. We're, we're waiting. We're kind of watching here um, uh, because uh, we can go over the same concept here about buyers back up above 82 and a half or 82 and three quarters. Same idea is right here. Okay. I thought we'd get into 87. Uh, we didn't. We, we, we said 85 to 87, but it's really 87. That's where the liquidity is. Uh, and um, uh, it's actually between 86 and a half to 87 and a quarter. Uh, and then also some here at 86. Uh, same concept here, okay, buyers and then sellers below it. Okay, so this is a false breakout. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get these sellers upended now. Not yet. Okay, above 80 and a half is what we're looking for. Buying pressure above it and the bid to light up here. Okay, bid, here's the bid a little bit. What's the reaction? Okay, we, we found some sellers actually. Okay, so no, not yet. Okay, here, here we go. Reaction is buyers, great. Let's see if they can continue now. We've got immediately sell off right back to it. Okay, let's get back up here again. Let's see if these buyers try to retest it. Reaction to this liquidity up here, 81 and a half to 83. It's been, it's been uh, kind of just range bound here. Okay, so we're not getting too much insight at the moment here. See, look at these guys come in again here. What's the reaction? Okay, we found some sellers. Look at them skew the order book like this. Okay, actually, this guy was kind of trapped. Uh, don't think this is uh, ignition algo here. We, we believe this, we usually cover this as not an ignition algo because he stayed in the book and, and traded. Therefore, we would say this is more like a, uh, a guy trapped trying to get out. Okay, buyers, let's see it up here. Let's see that bid. Here we go. Uh, this one uh, can be a lot better. Not, not only upend these sellers in here, uh, we're, we're back up to our this uh, this line here. We want to get up to the next one up here that we drew in here. So this is where those sellers came in. So this kind of 82 and a half. All right, buyers, here we go. And let's see if we can get up there. And and then if we can get it back up, even more buying up back up above, we're back to this 87 idea. Okay. And we're looking at who's upended, who's not, um, you know, where are they trapped, etc. Uh, that's what we're trying to ascertain in here. So we're marking it up. Uh, do you need the MBO uh, bundle, uh, Joni? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I, I think it's um, uh, offers tremendous insight. So, uh, in fact, uh, uh, to be able to see where people are getting stopped out and where icebergs are transacting is, is pretty amazing, I, I feel. So, uh, yeah, we're looking uh, right at it here. Uh, and we can we can see that uh, there was a, this was a stop run here. This was a stop run here. Also down here, some stops were triggered. Uh, Iceberg-wise, uh, we can see that uh, there was a, um, a couple hundred uh, right in this little area here. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of analysis, and then uh, Joni, like it's up to you. Like maybe maybe you, I think this offers another level of transparency that's rather amazing and um, can offer a lot of insight. Now that said, just recall that this is not a signal down here. This is like a, any other indicator, basically. I think it's more powerful than other indicators, uh, but this is showing you. Um, it, it's more like a con confluence here. It's it's um, not um, you know something like buy here, sell there. Okay, order flow is the most important part. 
there might be huge iceberg orders but the market might may just shun it and they, they don't it doesn't care okay if that's the case then you know we're, we're looking for uh, uh, buyers to continue right now when we start to see this as a confluence aligned with the order flow it really adds you know uh, um, uh, something that much higher probability all right here we go let's see if we can get some buyers back up here again okay why because we had a little double bottom here sellers here no buyer no sellers here but that has been upended already they came in here all right see these are little trappy areas here now these guys are trapped and let's see it buyers right here there we go here we looking for the move right back up to 82 and I like our 82 and a half here. Let's see if we can get it. No. Another try. Boy, it's a battle. High liquidity here, buyers take them on. All right, now can they get above it with some more buying? Let's, let's key off of this liquidity here at 79 and a half. I think there's more buying pressure. Okay, buyers, then you should be able to lift it. 82, 82 and a half. And that we really want to watch that 82 and a half. Still a battle, still back and forth here. Not getting the buyers back up in this area here. In here looks pretty good, not up here though. It's nothing, nothing really, you know, a high probability here. When when we see something higher probability, we, we do call that out. Um, we we got to go through the different scenarios though. Uh, and, um, uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's just, I mean, if we saw like really some strong, strong buying in here, uh, especially up here, okay, we're going to get another retest back up there, it looks like. One thing here, um, looking at the structure, okay, we made a lower high here. So, and we're making kind of equal lows here. I mean, higher lows in this area here. So it's just kind of, it's just back and forth. Okay, now just looking at the order flow within this area though. Okay, sellers still remain in control in this smaller time frame move here. Okay, we, we're looking for a retest back up to them. This looks, this looks much better now. Okay, so uh, the buying is, is stronger and consistent here. Okay, this is where we need to see it though. 81, 80 and a half. Here's on the bid. Okay, we should get a, a move to 82 here. Uh, and then I think we can get some stops triggered there. Let's watch this here. The buying is strong. They need to move it though. Okay, there's 82. It's still strong, still looking. Okay, our 82 and a half just tested it's still strong in here okay now we want to see follow through on the retest back up here okay getting a pullback like this is uh, something we we look for but 
Boy, not getting much out of it. Uh, Want to see the bid here? Want to see buyers here? We, we're not. Okay, so we just kind of sit and watch. Okay, still, okay, starting to transact up here. Still, the, the move would be higher here based on the order flow. However, we're just not seeing the bid here. Okay, and if we don't see the bid, we don't have all the pieces. Okay, we want to see this this maybe pulled and added here and the react there we go a little bit there right okay, we just want to see more if we get more and they pull maybe here at 82 and a quarter they're pulling there then we can get a move higher okay here's here's high liquidity at 80 and a half we're getting some buyers yeah, let's let's see. We're looking for our 83 and a quarter here. Now he pulls. Yeah, not good. Not good when he pulls like that. Okay, back down to the bottom of the range. Anyway, guys, we like as we mentioned, I, this did look better here. Um, we did get to the 82 and a half. Um, the um, we're right back down though, and uh, it is some pretty strong selling here. Uh, it is a stop run though. Okay, so we can come right back up again, and we are. We're already we're already back up to it. Okay, again, they're up here, you know, still looking for them to try to move it higher here. Now, that said, I, I just, we're not, we just, like we've, we've, we've been noticing here, we're not getting all the pieces here. It's not really uh, uh, giving us that uh, uh, higher probability read on the order flow here. It's just not. Okay, if it, if it were higher probability, this is what, what it would look like. Uh, we'd have some pretty big and consistent uh, green dots here, okay? And uh, you can see it's there's it's not bad in here. This is more like what we're looking for, but we see some big red ones in here too, right? So this is where we're kind of looking for them to try to push it, and you can see what happened. It's these all of these guys in here that are buying are now selling. Uh, let's see here a few questions uh, what do the black areas of the shadowing represent uh, this is low liquidity uh, in here okay high liquidity the scale of the heat maps in the top center in the chart uh, you can you have a few different options here uh, I use this one here, the red and orange being very high liquidity, then yellow is less, then white, and then blue, and then black is the least. Okay, so you can see that this, this stop run here, which it is, uh, you know, there's a lot of stops in, triggered in here, um, about 500, uh, and um, uh, they, they traded down to high liquidity here okay, at 75. Uh, Scott usually sets the um, buying orders above price for trend continuation trends, trades. Okay. Um, yeah, hold on a minute here. Let me see if I understand this correctly. Uh, okay, so the question here uh, is on um, how do you know if the liquidity above or below price uh, is to be long or short? Well, um, 
we don't we we just know that there are buyers below this is these this is the orders down here these are uh, limit buy orders these are limit sell orders up here that's it that, and that's all all we know okay we don't know if these are the guys these traders down here providing this liquidity are they exiting their shorts or are they accumulating and buying uh, to enter and we don't know that this this is one of those days like uh, um, it's it's really it's it's really back and forth in here uh, even even with this strong move here in this stop run I would not be surprised at all to see buyers back up above here around 81 to 81 and a half um, not at all okay uh, however this there's there's one kind of trick in here uh, in reading the order flow and and uh, I, I mentioned it earlier I should have followed up a little bit more with it uh, and this is where you can kind of get into trouble I think with order flow is 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 uh, when you have a bias uh, and then you are you're, you're you're not quite as objective at that point uh, and the market will will teach you very very quickly uh, to be more objective so uh, anyway like uh, we we know that um, uh, sellers we, we mentioned it earlier this is all back and forth in here but the seller this this uh, kind of false breakout we're looking for 87 didn't get it uh, sellers came in uh, and then uh, they are in control from not from here that's the breakout it's actually from here onwards they are in control a little bit higher let's let's mark it up okay horizontal line right around here so probably around 84 let's call it 84 sellers are in control from 84 onward okay look at the selling sideways buying 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 trying to lift it couldn't do it tried a few more times couldn't do it stopped out tried it again in here making lower highs here and then we got the uh, the, the big stop run here and okay. I thought we were going to get some support I thought we we're going to get our buyers I thought we'd get back to 87 uh, we didn't that was the bias uh, and um, the um, the move here um, basically uh, you know the misread here was the the structure okay on my on my part uh, right in through here all right so uh, they are still in control until we see something different uh, typically when you get the strong buying like this though you do get retest back to where they dropped it from and, and we did get that one here actually okay to, to this 82 and a half that's what we marked up right so you know that's where we're not you know we're not making this stuff up the first stop would be 82 and a half and it did that it just tested it and it failed from there onward though all right but we are coming right back into this range okay Zella did I did I answer your question um, the uh, Yeah, we just, this is really important. It's a, it's a very good question about, you know, who's long, who's short, etc. And we don't know that, but we don't need to know that really. I and mean, it'd be great. It'd be great if we could uh, and match accounts and everything and know that this is one guy that's holding and he's here and he's, you know, he's going to get stopped out there. Oh, God, that'd be an incredible transparency. Uh, it would be the best. Uh, but we don't know that. Uh, what we do know uh, is the condition of the orders in the participants here uh, where are they um, where do they want to buy where do they want to sell okay where is their supply up here 87 this is where they want to sell where is their demand down here and then just coming in here right now look at the demand okay so and what's the reaction to this this is what we want to know in the order flow we're finding buyers okay great all right I would hop in here and look for a move to 82 Right, we've got a pretty strong bid here, right? I would have extremely tight stop on here. 
uh, as well. This should work now, and it's already not. Okay, it's already starting to not work, right? So we need to find buyers up here. Okay, if it doesn't work right now, I'm out. I, I'm looking for this to work now. We have a strong bid. We have some buying up here. It's not the greatest up here. Okay, there, I'm out. Okay, so take a take a small stop uh, and look for uh, a, a retest back up here with strong buying. Okay, but we had the bid here. We just didn't have the buyers here. Other times we had the buyers here. We just didn't have the bid. All right. So, uh, yeah, it's been a back and forth day already. Okay. Now, this is not a. Tr these are not trade recommendations. Uh, it's just kind of going through the process here of reading the order flow. Okay. Reading the order flow can be applied to anything. Uh, Zella, let's see, you have more here. Um, retesting orders of price above, why wouldn't they be buyers? No, well, okay, for every buyer there's a seller, of course. Uh, that's how the transaction is made. Uh, but w these are limit buy orders up here. Okay, they want to be a buyer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are limit sell orders up here. They want to be a seller at these levels only. Okay, they're saying if you want to come up here and meet me, I will sell to you. And then we have buyers. Look at them coming in now. Okay, to take it right back into this area here. Okay, so in fact, you know, this is another on days like today, you can trade it right back to here and take some off uh, and then try to maybe hold for, for a runner. That's another trading uh, strategy because you can see that we will likely get the test up here and then it fails though. Okay, but we'll likely get the test. So you can trade it from outside in back into like a high volume node or, or areas where there is higher volume on the buy side here. Okay, so some things to consider, like you can see that would have worked out really nicely there. You'd take some off. Now you'd be holding though too. Okay, move your stop up to break even. Okay, again, not trade recommendations, trade considerations for uh, looking at things in, in with order flow here. Okay, this is looking great, right? Let I want to see the bid more on the bid here though, but uh, we we've got all of these guys trapped on the sell side here. Uh, they're shaking in their boots here. Okay, now are they going to get let out here? If they do, if it goes below 79, they'll be let out. And the sellers will still be in control. Okay, if we see the squeeze here, we should get buyers up here. Okay, and we already had some, so I'm still looking for them. I think we're going to get them. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see 82. And let's zoom out here. Okay, looking good. Okay, so look at look at the bigger picture here too. Sellers on this leg, this is a higher low, and we don't see sellers. Okay, so let's see if we can get more buyers here in the bigger picture. And then if we do, we should get a move, and we can make the uh, heat map a little more contrasty here. Oops, not that one. This one, yeah. Okay, there they are. Great. Okay, next level would be up here at our, our 84 level. And then we're back to 87. Okay, does this, this looks clearer, right? Okay, we have a bigger picture. We, we saw the, the action in here. And we were looking for a move from uh, outside in. Take some off, but hold it. Now this one seems to be working out. Okay, so we're holding it. And we'd be looking for the move to 84 and then 87. Okay. Okay. Now, now let's take a look at the trap volume in here too. Okay. It's all these guys, all these sellers in here. 
Okay, so looking for the squeeze, and it would be a beautiful squeeze right up to 87. Okay, looking for that scenario. That would be the primary scenario here. Okay, and it's looking better. Uh, would love to see that bid light up again, kind of like this, but uh, yeah, might, we might get a little back and forth in here for right now. Due to, the, due to the condition of the orders. That's why. Okay, we got our buyers up here, but the support is down here. The, the demand is down here, 79. Okay, you can still hold, hold your position though. Okay, here's a little more uh, demand. Now, what what, are, what is the market telling us? What are the orders telling us, the participants here? It's kind of back and forth. They, they came in and they actually were kind of attracted to it. Now it's moving higher though. So we don't really know. We don't have a clear insight there. What, what does the market feel about this? Well, it's telling us it doesn't really know what it thinks about this. There's sellers that kind of want this. There's buyers that want to move it away back to 84. So that's really the distinction here, because when we do see a, a, a strong reaction to this liquidity here at 81 by buyers, we've really got something. It's telling us something. I mean, the participants are telling us, giving us insight. Uh, the science and insight behind the SI indicator, not iceberg stops only. Um, well, it's not. There's no science at all. I mean, it, I mean, it's just fact. That's the beauty of the the MBO data uh, from uh, from Rhythmic. Okay, so so see see how that see how we didn't really quite know in here. We're like, yeah, you know. Like, uh, and, and well, here's our answer. Uh, here, here's what the market is telling us. Uh, all right, so let's get back to that question. All right, so you know, the, the fact is we know that these are, these are stops. Okay, let's, let's, kind of go through this in more deductive uh, process. Guys, I don't know if you like that subscribe button there in YouTube or not. Um, we, we're just kind of testing this out. And also the video here, uh, you get to see my mug. Um, and uh, I, if you find that distracting, let me know. We'll take it off. Uh, no, no problem. Uh, I don't know if it adds value or not, uh, but uh, we're, uh, you know, just testing things out here. Uh, if you like the videos, um, you know, um, or you like you like what we're going over here, give us a thumbs up. Uh, that's uh, very helpful. Okay, Noel, you like the video? The the um, these webinars, this, the subscription is uh, expensive. It flashes too often, Zella. Okay. Okay, okay, you guys, you guys like it. Okay, uh, no problem. Um, okay, all right. Well, we'll continue. We'll continue on with it. We have a transparency behind it, so it's you know you see a little more of the screen. Anyway, guys, you see what see what I mean in the analysis and the order flow here, the condition of the market. And, you know, it's just like stay away. You know, like if if you're now we would still be in this position because we're traded up to it and we took some off and we're looking for our runner here, but we don't know right now uh, anything else. It's not really telling us too much. Okay, we're back up here yet again at, at, this, at these little swings here at 82 and three quarters. You know, it still looks like it wants to come up to 84, but it, it's just not as high probability, right? So. You know, there and there's the move to 84. Okay, so we went through the scenario of of uh, why, but you know, in terms of you know it being more probable, no, we would say no. 
Um, and look, and it, it, maybe someone else has some other insights uh, in the order flow here. But looking at, um, at, at this here, we're looking at the limit orders, the reaction to it. We're looking at the back and forth and the structure in here. Where are they trading in that structure? At the bottom, at the top, etc. Yeah, in fact, like uh, uh, there was a question here um, in uh, on a video we just did here. I'll show you on our YouTube channel here. Okay, how to read uh, order flow inside candlesticks. And let me show you the question here because uh, there was a question on, um, uh, and I'll, uh, Jay, I, you know, if you're in here uh, now, or not, it doesn't matter. But can't you read the, if it's a long candle, you know, you understand that buyers overpowered the sellers? True. Oh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. That That's, uh, you know, we've seen all sorts of different things within the candle. But this is the key. It, and it's, it shows it in the video. So that's what I'm going to, how I'm going to reply. Uh, what I want to show here, though, is this. Okay. So if we, for example, show the candlesticks. Okay. Well, sure, you got the candle. But where did the buyers take place? Okay. That's what we want to know. And actually, we're getting our answer in here. Well, we have the majority of the volume trading up here in this five-minute period. Is it five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, it's a five-minute candle. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, majority of it's up here. Well, that gives a lot of insight. Okay. If you didn't know that, this is what it looks like. Oh, okay, I have a big candle. Where, though? Where is the volume? That's the order flow. That's one element of the order flow. Okay, now turn it back on. Now we have the clarity. There's where it is. Okay, in fact, we can put that within, and I even demoed that in the video. Where does, we can look at a volume profile. Okay, so between this candle and this candle. Our uh, chart range volume profile, by far, the majority of the volume is at the top of this candle. That is insightful. That's where you're going to get the insight. Okay, The candle is like, well, where you wouldn't know where uh, uh, the volume is because the candle is not going to show that. Uh, so um, th that answers that question. Okay, we also have the other side of the trade. Where, what does the auction tell us? Where are they bidding? Where are they offering? Well, they're bidding up here at 79. Okay, but they're also, you know, um, offering lower here. And, uh, well, this, this transacted in here, and we're looking for, you know, reaction to that transaction. High liquidity here, and we saw, you know, sellers take them on. Okay, so, you know, although we traded up here and we see the volume up here, what about the, the bid and the offer? You know, and the liquidity, the other side of that trade. What is it telling us, right? And so that's where we kind of, you know, made the uh, 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 insight or get, you know, gathered some information and insight here that uh, it's, it's really kind of back and forth. Okay, we got it. We got up to 84. We're looking for it in here. Just didn't have a strong bid. Okay. Well, here here come the sellers right back. All right. So there you go. Okay. And then uh, our entry, uh, you know, that we were discussing about that uh, a potential, not a trade recommendation, but like a uh, potential scenario of trading back up into this liquidity. Uh, well, now now we have our answer on that one, too. Like, you know, take some off here, look for a runner. Could have taken some off at 84, but I, I would have been holding it and I would have been stopped out at break even on this. Okay, so I took some off, and that's it. All right now, if you know we were covering other stuff in here, maybe I would have maybe I would have exited one position or the the position here if I saw sellers in here that was telling me something that this is not going to work out. And I don't really see that in here, to be honest. Uh, we have this high liquidity here, and the reaction was strong selling. Okay, and that's not bad. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing in here still that really, really stands out. Okay. So 
except for this little area here. And it, it and it's it's okay. It's not not fantastic. And they did it again here. High liquidity followed by selling. Okay, that's the reaction that we're kind of talking about here. So where did it go? Back to 74 and a half. All right. So anyway, I just want to give some insight on that um, and uh, kind of what we mean here. Uh, trying to answer some of those questions in advance for you guys. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, uh, Lucero. Okay, Jay, excellent. Thank you, Jay. What does that tell us knowing the volume within the candle? Oh, that, it tells us everything. Uh, well, not everything, but uh, it tells us a lot of things. Okay, let's, we'll go through it in real time. How about that? Um, in fact, maybe we'll, you know, do now, we'll look at some smaller time frame, maybe, uh, other than a five minute. Okay, just, just for demo purposes, though, uh, just because, we, you know, if you, otherwise, we, we wouldn't be able to do it live. Uh, it wouldn't be as easy. I mean, we could lose a five-minute chart here and just say, okay, we where did we find buyers before? Well, wicks, right? And it's not really this wick here that tells us much. In fact, this wick here, this is another good example. Uh, let me clean up the chart here, okay, so it makes it easier. I'll, I'll mute the um, uh, heat, heat map a little bit. This wick here, you would think that's buying pressure, right? It's not. It's not. It's, that's just a that's a low volume pullback to where all of the selling pressure came in. Okay, is that is that make sense? So you, you're getting a lot of insight by understanding between these two periods here that there's a lot of sellers in here. Okay, so now what what ended up happening? Some back and forth, back and forth between this period and this period. Not much information in terms of the um, uh, the candle. Volume-wise, yeah, potential trap volume up here because the buyer's up here and some selling coming in. Okay, uh, but uh, it was this and it did go lower, but it was followed by some pretty strong buying here. And this is where we we made the distinction, and it was here. It was this volume up here at the top of this candle here. Now think about it. We're back up to the top of this range in these candles here. And we have strong buying up here. All right, we're looking for the bid to support it, and that's when we just like no, you know, it it, it that condition of, of these orders in here wasn't telling us that much, um, and uh, there was high liquidity here. The sellers took it on, uh, and then we came back up here, and it was like well, there's still buying pressure here, likely 84, maybe 87. We only got up to about 85, uh, and then it sold off. Okay, so uh, anyway, it's, it's this buying up here at the top of the candle, top of the range. Okay, as you as you volume profile guys know very well, that is a weak top. Here it is. Okay, majority of the, of the uh, it's not the greatest one. It would be greater. It would be better if this hunk or like uh, node here was was moved up. All right. Well, we can kind of do that here actually if we just zoom in. Yeah, looks more like this. Okay, that's a weak top. What that means is it is auctioning up here. We can even look at delta in here. Okay, more buyers here, right? So that's what it's telling us. Okay, when there's more buyers at a higher area, we can have price exploration up into some of these areas like 84, 85, 87, 90, if there's enough. All right, so uh, yeah, anyone uh, that's accustomed to volume profile, uh, stay tuned in another um, 35 minutes. Uh, uh, Tom B will be up and he'll go through volume profile in detail. Okay, this this uh, video will, um, or this webinar will um, redirect you right to it. Okay, uh, Orion, uh, does that make sense? Okay. Now, now again, this is volume's only a part of it here. <laughs> what if there's high liquidity and they can't get through it? Or in this case, you know, what we were reading in here in terms of liquidity was 
we just didn't really get a feel for what the reaction was. Even this high liquidity here, did it did it repel sellers? No, they actually took them on and traded into them, right? So th this kind of made it more convoluted. All right, let's go through it in real time. Okay, so uh, uh, and uh, maybe we'll use a one minute chart um, just to uh, demo this uh, point here. All right, so. I'll go here, candlestick settings, one minute. Okay, we're in a range. Okay, buyers are actually above it. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now, what about the what about the bid? Okay, I'm seeing not much up here, right? I, I do see buyers up here, but I, I want to see, um, I don't want to see a lot of liquidity here. In, in fact, I, wanna, I don't want to see a dark area under here because if it's dark, it means that there's not a lot of liquidity. It means sellers can very quickly move it through these orders here to trade down into areas of high liquidity. All right now, let's see. Let's watch this here. We're coming back up here to retest. Yep, looks good. See them pull here. See the buyers here. We should get a, a move back up to about here, 80. Okay, I would love to see. See, it's still dark in here though, so it's not really high probability there. There's a little bit right there, and the reaction, it did pro propel some buying here, okay? It's farther away though, okay? So watch, you can see the sellers come in. Okay? If it's up here, and then now they pulled it too, right? So now it's easy for sellers to quickly move it back down to these areas, all right? So this is the relationship and context uh, of, the, uh, of the orders. And this is what we're reading in here. All right, so let's let's watch this here. Okay, it's good. now we can also look at areas where this buying here was not able to lift it, and if 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 these are not stops in here, these are new buyers. Let me just pose the question. If these are new buyers in here, okay, let's suppose you bought in here. Where would you place your stop? Okay, you're, you're a shorter term, you know, trader in this, in this scenario. Okay, Orion. We'll, maybe we'll just do, you know, maybe a, a an afternoon uh, session on uh, uh, understanding order flow within candlesticks. Maybe that maybe that will be uh, clearer. Yeah, let me know if you guys would like something like that. Uh, guys on Discord here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, McLoco. Uh, M O S. Okay, uh, looking awesome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is our new our new look here in YouTube. Uh, uh, you guys can't see it in Discord, uh, but uh, yeah, new toys, new toys to play around with. Okay. Yeah, you would have been stopped out, but where, uh, Noel? Where would you have been stopped out? Where, where would you, where would you personally put your stop? And it's, it's, it's up to you. I mean, you know, up to your trading style and risk um, uh, profile. Okay, uh, we got it again here. Like um, this is uh, we we're, we're getting buyers up here. The bid is starting to build. Okay, at 74, that's what uh, you would have been stopped out at 74. Okay, so you'd probably still be in it then. Okay, so you would have placed your stop if you got in here. You would place your stop down here. All right, so you you would have like a four point stop, four and a half point stop. All right. So um, 
uh, yeah, you, then you, so you'd be still in this, and uh, uh, is this is kind of a normal kind of market uh, back and forth rotation uh, potentially here. Okay, so I would bet a lot of very short term traders they would be getting stopped out here and here, uh, and we do see a stop run here, and not not too much in here though. Right, so we can kind of look for that uh, below some of these swings in here. That's where they're going to get knocked out. Right, and the market's always searching for that. It's not, you know, yeah, okay, some, some traders are pushing it um, into those areas, trying to get people to get stopped out. But the market is looking for orders. And, you know, if, if uh, uh, it knows <laughs> if there are no one else is providing liquidity except you with your, your stop in some of these areas in here, the market can kind of trickle down into those areas and start to hit them. Okay. Again, it, you know, looking for it to come back up here again right now. Uh, now again, look at look at the book in here. It is not high probability. Nice buying in here, you know, through this area, looking for it to come up here. Uh, you know back up into some of these wicks up here but i just don't like the the bid in here uh being really really dark and okay? so it's doing it and it should get up to 80 here right but i still just just don't like it now let's look at our candlesticks though right and that's what we were, we were trying to cover here so we saw some selling pressure in here selling pressure uh, sellers uh, drive it now buyers are back up here and we're above these guys so anyone who sold in here now should be a buyer and we can get a nice squeeze okay and we have a nice uh, kind of candle here and the majority of the uh, volume on this candle is here okay so this makes sense again to get up to 80 okay and continuation continuation we're looking for probably back to let's see just in terms of candles let's just look at the candles okay well we have some wicks in here those are best buying pressure though so back up into this area it looks pretty good okay Okay, so now uh, the buying pressure, buying pressure, buying pressure. Okay, and uh, here's our, our one minute candle. A little bit of a wick, but in a wick again here on the on this one minute candle. Okay, majority of the buying's up here. The reaction to this liquidity seems to be buyers. Okay, again, more liquidity here. All right, buyers, let's see it. And you should be able to pop it higher. Okay, now we're up into that area here. Let's take a look again at our candles and our structure. Great. Okay. So maybe back up to this swing here, 83. Now we know that there, where is the selling pressure on the candles over here? Okay, well, Let's look at the dots here. Again, not the candles, because this is a, a period of aggregated data. We want to look at the dots within the period. Here's where they really kind of started. Yeah, so this looks like a good area. I know we've already tested it, right? 82 and a half, 83. I think we have. No, not quite. Almost. Uh, yeah, so um, before I get to CVD, um, let's get into, uh, good morning, Matt um, and Ricky. Um, yeah, yeah, so these are the stops. Yeah, exactly, exactly, uh, uh, Matt. Uh, here it is right in front of us. This is what I just, I just love this. I love seeing this. Um, a back up above and looking for the stops. Here's our stop run. Now they really kind of held on to this one. Um, I would think there would be more stops kind of above here, but not too many. 
the big stop run is is here. Okay, can't get to 83. Look at the sellers already come right back in. Okay, now let's look at the candles again in here, and we'll look at CVD. But I, I want to cover also the the stop runs here, um, and how to read this. Like um, uh, Zella uh, had uh, asked this question. So uh, now we've traded back down to 79. Okay, liquidity here. Let's look at the candles. Okay, where's the buying pressure? Well, candle wise, it's this wick and then maybe maybe above here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean I know it's bouncing off of here, but I really wouldn't look at that as being the buying pressure. I would say, well, actually right yeah, right in here looks pretty good and it did bounce right off of that. I mean, we, we drew it up, in fact, earlier, right? We found our buyers here. And we're right back up again. And the bid looks strong. Okay, now let's look at the candles. Okay, buying wick. All right, so now we should see buyers here. Big, big green dot here. We should get it. Okay, if we don't, then it's not what we're looking for. If we get it, we're looking for 85 quickly, too. Okay, test it up there. Not haven't haven't seen them yet. The, the bid looks good. The um, uh, the offers up here. So this looks great. We just need to find the green dots, the aggressors. These are the guys that are going to move move price, and we're, they're not showing up right now. Okay, so we stay away. Okay, let's see if we can get another retest though back up here. High liquidity on the bid. Okay, so Wick would say buying pressure. Well, let's look at this. Is it buying pressure? There's actually more selling in here. You can look at the bars. You can look at the size of the dots than there is buyers. So that's kind of, that's kind of giving us a conflicted uh, view here, right? Here, we can even put this within the volume profile. Use our, our tool here. Uh, we don't need to use it, but... We'll, we'll do that anyway. Okay, and here's our profile for that. So most of the uh, transactions were down here. Uh, and uh, we can look at the delta. And most of it's selling. Okay, so that move back up and look like buying pressure is kind of erroneous. Okay, so because that's erroneous, it, it, does this make sense? That sellers are going to come back down and retest this. I, I'd be looking for them actually to retest uh, the 70, uh, 8 and 3 quarters here. And again, more sellers here. We were looking for our buyers up here, and they didn't show. Okay, and then we, we zoomed in and looked at the, the volume within here. Guys, so it really is three pieces here market structure that's created by the price action back and forth or up and down uh, and then we have the volume within that the transactions within that area and then we have um, and that, that's the the dots and then we have the the bid and the offer the supply and the demand and it's that context between these three elements here that's the complete order flow here All right, so, and let's take a look at and, and answer this question about stop runs. Okay, so we can also start to ascertain, like this move up here was, was a nice stop run. Okay, let's just zoom into it. In fact, we can uh, turn the on charts if you, you know, if you have access to this. Uh, it's on our marketplace. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna show stops. Okay, here, we can see the whole stop run, where it initiated, where it ended, and this is it. It initiated here at 81 and a half, it ended here at 82. Only a couple ticks, 225 stops, all right? So it's not a whole lot, 
there's some other minor stop runs here along the way, but that's the big one. Okay, it looks big on the chart here because we don't have a lot of action here going on, but uh, uh, anyway, that's the, um, and look at this big move down here. Okay, is it a stop run? No, I mean, there's a little one in here. Here, I'll take it off icebergs. It's a little one here. It looks like it's huge, right? I, I would think that would be a stop run, but it's not or not a big one okay so what does that mean here well if people now it in this we got to look at the bigger picture here about this this whole area here there's a lot of buying in here but what is what are the majority of these transactions and that actually in this move here the majority of those transactions are stops 225 out of you know maybe like 500 in here or something you know, maybe less than 500, but um, so that that what does that mean? That means that well, we know that these are people likely exiting the market, and they're not buying to enter. So that gives us some insight here. And then we looked at this volume compared to this volume over here. We looked at this wick, okay, covering candlesticks, and then understanding that within this wick here, you would think it's buying pressure. It even closed up here at the high. And it's just not true. Okay, so now we have some other pieces in here. This is how you can start to read the facts, uh, Zella, uh, about understanding the um, m the makeup of the order flow here with stops and icebergs, or stops in this case. Okay, we know that the majority here are stops. And we know that there's more selling in here than buying, even though this wick is showing us like, wow, it looks like there's buying pressure, right? And we, we gave it a shot. We were even looking for it up here. Buyers, where are they? Not showing up, right? Bid looks awesome. No buyers though, okay? That kept us out. Now, pretty much the entire webinar here, this has been the case. We've got one element, not the other. Uh, you know, we, we may have... Um, uh, the aggressor, but we don't have the bid or, or the offer. Uh, we may have the uh, bidder offer, but we don't have the aggressor. Okay, so uh, we want both. Uh, and that, that gives us a much better reading and understanding. Now we put that together within the price structure. Price structure wise, this is, this is exactly what we're talking about. Like the stop run here, okay? the back and forth within here. But we know there's more sellers, okay? more sellers here. Uh, and we know that these are buyers that are exiting the market, right? So there, there's a really pretty decent analysis here of understanding this order flow up here. Okay, and based off of that order flow, it's not very bullish, right? So, in, in, you know, it doesn't, although I'm going through this in, in, in detail here, but you can start to piece together a plan in terms of your order flow. So you can start to look at, uh, right? Well, I'm looking for buyers in here, but these aren't these are these are buyers that exited. Okay, I do I do find this. You do find some buyers in here, like here. Um, they're not exiting. They're they're buying to enter. Um, there's a little stop run there, but but this is buying. Okay, well, those guys are going to be upended uh, if there's more selling pressure, and and they are. All right. So now what you can look for now, although this is a small time frame, it does not matter. Look for the sellers to start to come in. We see that here. We were looking for buyers up here. Didn't get them. Some sellers in here, some sellers here, some sellers here. This looks good. I'd be looking for this liquidity first, this liquidity next. Uh, and uh, some of the structure here. I like this one better uh, because it's at the bottom of the range here. Okay, it got there. Uh, and then again, if what's the condition here? Well, look at the structure. Lower high. Do we get a lot of buyers up here? No. Do we get sellers here? Yes. Do we get sellers here? Yes. Do we get a lot of buyers up here? No. This is easy in hindsight, of course, but we'll do it in real time, no problem. Uh, that's what we're here for, is to apply it in real time. 
Okay, so and in here's the, here's more selling now. Let's take a look at this now. Let's look at where we are now. Okay, uh, we'll start with candles. Uh, well, yeah, here's a wick. Is it selling pressure up here? No, actually, there's some buying pressure in here. Sellers really start to come in about here. Okay, now it's back and forth. Sellers here, buyers here. More selling here. This is good. Okay. More selling coming in again. Look at the wick. Okay, buying pressure. Is there a lot of buying in here? No. It's not a lot. Okay, so we're still we still have a a, a, a bias here to the downside based on structure and volume. Okay. So now I'm looking for here on this retest here, more sellers at this 75 to test 75 first. And I want to see them trade through it down into 74, 73, 72. Okay, so yeah, uh, that would be the uh, the analysis here. Would love to see more on the offer here as well. We don't we don't really get that. Uh, we're just seeing uh, liquidity down here. Okay, so you know it's working out. Uh, it would be better to see more. You know, it would be higher probability if we saw more on the offer, and maybe them even starting to pull on the bid. All right. So again, we only had kind of a piece of it here. But that's the analysis, and that's understanding what makes up the candle here as well. Okay, so, oh, thanks, Jay. Okay, so you do find that this is helpful for you. Um, that's great. That's great. Um, so let me know, you guys. I mean, really, I'm trying to um, clarify, uh, get get these points across, um, because um, uh, it's all in front of us here. We just need to understand the orders and, and really put that into context. Uh, JK, how do you distinguish between real buying and 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 stops? Well, we we can look right at them. Okay, so for example, th this is another just beautiful thing in the stop uh, in iceberg indicator. All right, so now we know this is stops. <laughs> Let's just use this example back here. Okay, we know this is majority of the trading in this little, and it's kind of rare to be honest. Like usually the majority of the trading is is kind of a mixture of of real buyers and stops. In this one, it's mostly stops. Okay, so um, uh, in, anyway, in this move here, uh, and um, now let's take a look. All right, so what about these buyers in here, in this range? Okay, are these stops in here? Okay, look at the buying. Let me get rid of, let me get rid of the uh, rectangle. Okay. Look at the buying in here. Now there's not a whole lot. Okay, it's mostly selling. But we'll just make the dots bigger just for kicks here. Okay. Look at the buying in here. Are they stop? Are they stop runs? No. They're they're not stop runs. So what does that mean? That means they're aggressive buyers. I mean, yeah, maybe they're they're exiting the position, um, uh, but uh, likely it, they are buying, uh, and um, uh, they're um, uh, establishing positions, right? So if they're establishing positions in here, look at the look at the stops here. There there are very few. I mean, just some scant stops in here to the downside. That's it. Okay, so this, there, these are. It's not a stop run. Okay, stop run is likely. Now you know I get I can get into trouble here, I, you know because it it's more likely these are people exiting with a stop order. Okay, it's a stop uh, a stop loss order. In here there are very few stops. So these these buyers in here. Uh, are most I would assume that they are entering the position. Okay, so when you don't see a stop run, then that's how you can make make the distinction. All right, so that tells you a lot too. When there is no there are, there are no stops. Okay, and now we have a stop run here. We we talked about it. It looked like a really big one, and it is not. It, you know, it's like 50 or so. Yeah, 54 right there. 
all right so anyway that's another way to uh to look at this um which i think can be very helpful all right guys so that turned into a really nice move um not only did it get down to 72 it's it's gone further it's gone down to 70. all right so we're, we're starting to starting to uh, uh you know piece together some of the order flow in a better way here we also knew early on that you know we weren't getting the full picture here it's been it's been really kind of back and forth uh let's just zoom out again and let's take the candles off for just a minute here okay all right so uh yeah we're getting our kind of full picture in, in here uh god let me get rid of all the drawings now all right that'll be helpful uh this looked pretty good here double bottom great buyers great we did get the move back up here that was it though did not get the follow through on it and you can see that it's just beautiful structure here on the on the little bit higher time frame look what the sellers came in here's the retest back to test those sellers did you get buyers up here no did you get sellers yeah what's the bid in the in the offer look like okay they, they were bidding up in here and no, and this is we were watching it no follow through and then on the offer on the offer on the offer sellers cluster of sellers looking for the move back down to the bottom of the range or high liquidity and they even traded through it all right okay here we go look at that stop run here's another one let's go through the same process you know in real time here all right so let's mark it up let's take a look okay selling pressure we know that we can see it here we also know the condition of the sellers in here there's 322 that are stops we also have another one here, and this is a big one, especially down here. Okay. And uh, we know the condition of those sellers in here too. Those are stop loss orders as well. So this candle here, now we're already getting back up to what I wanted to cover. What we're looking to see is can we get buyers back up above here? First one would be actually here. Second one would be here. We're looking at the cluster of the selling. Okay, because we, we, we're looking at these sellers here. They're selling to exit. Okay, so we're looking to see. God, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Horizontal line. Here. And here. That's kind of a zone in here. Um, so let's take a look. So now what we're looking to see then uh, is a retest. First off, a retest back up to here. Just up to there. looks pretty good here we, we find our buyers here uh, taking it back up and let's see if we can get um, a bit more okay now because we know the condition of these orders in here now sellers are in control there's no question about that but we know the condition of them too so a retest back up up into here is is not out of the question okay back to 74 all right, let's zoom in here. Let's take a look at the candles. Let's look at the order flow here now. Okay, well, here, lack of lack of sellers here. Do we get buyers up here? No. <laughs> the order book is not telling us anything right now. The the uh, order book is saying that there's there's buyers up here around 74 to 75. There's sellers down, I mean, there's sellers up here around 74 to 75. There's buyers down here between 69 and 68. Okay, this liquidity just pulled so it's yeah it's just it's not doing anything right now and what we're looking for is buyers to come back up and test these areas okay, here they go all right looks pretty good uh, again we don't have we have the aggressors we don't have the order book here supporting it all right so we don't have all the pieces most likely though is 
or more likely I would give the nod to the buyers here to retest back to 74. So am I saying this zone is always a sideways area? Um, no, I'm just marking up where the buyers and sellers are or, you know, the aggressors here and then looking at that stop run in here. That's what I'm marking up. And if we want to get more precise, then we don't have to, you know, we can do that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of what Scott does as well. Uh, he marks it up here from 72. Uh, and we can even look at this one here. It's down to here, 70. Um, okay, is that clear? Right? Here's here's the big stop run, 922. Uh, it actually started here, back here. That red line is showing us the complete evolution of it. All right, so we're looking to get back up above 72, basically with buyers. And I was giving the nod to the buyers here due to this volume coming in to the top of the, this little range here. And you can see that failed, right? We, we didn't have all the pieces. So, you know, this isn't uh, what we, this is the second uh, secondary scenario here uh, but uh, there was just uh, not enough uh, to lift it to 74 okay let's look at this one 136 okay let's zoom in a little bit let's look at the stop run okay now you can see there's multiple stop runs in here I still like I still like this one up here. It actually is kind of below that that other zone of the the stop run. It's right here. So it's 70. I'm I'm going to leave it there at 70 and a half. Okay. Let's see it. Sellers are still in control. We're just looking for a retest back up to this kind of 71 72. 70 and a half. Now, uh, let's take a look at the candle here as well. Uh, and look at look at the uh, buying and selling within it. Okay. Well, majority is by far selling here in this candle. Okay. And, and most of it actually happened down here. All right, let's see if we can get our buyers here. I'd look for 72. And I bid is starting to show a little bit of blue in here. That usually is kind of how it starts. But um, no, we're, they, it didn't attract any buyers here. Candlesticks aren't bad here. Yeah, to, you know, to see like uh, the wick, and we know there's more selling here, more selling here. So it's not bad to look for 68 as it's trading, and and maybe a push through here through 68. Okay, they're on the offer here. Pretty high liquidity. Okay, more liquidity reaction sellers. Okay, nice stop run too. All right, this is where we're getting above the stop run. Here. Okay, so we're still in the downtrend, but we're looking for primary scenario is downtrend. Secondary scenario is buyers up here around 68 and a half to 69.
pull that liquidity. Not finding the aggressor though. Okay, now we're finding them. Should be able to move it to 70 and, or yeah, let's call it 70. Should be able to move it up there. And more liquidity here. Did not not finding buyers. Look again. This is this is not really the the. <laughs> there's only been a couple that were higher probability today. We don't have all the pieces here. Uh, Nick, we don't know if they're they're um, closing or entering with a stop run. Okay, however, it is most likely that it is a stop loss, um, and uh, you know this is this is very very indicative of the what a stop run looks like. Okay, there's nothing but stops here. There's nothing but selling in here. Okay, I mean these are market uh, sell orders. Right, but we we can you know we can we know that they're they're stops though we know 922 of these are are stops okay are they buy or are they sell stops to enter or are they sell stops to exit that we don't know okay it's typically though again and again like you know typically it's selling to enter I to exit. And is typically retail seller uh, traders. Uh, retail traders use stop loss orders. Okay, they have smaller accounts. They need to protect the accounts, uh, and they can get in and out of trades very, very quickly. That is the edge of a of a small retail trader. Okay? Whereas larger players, they'll be in large positions and they'll average in as it goes down, and they'll average in more, etc. You'll see it in the behavior, not always, but you'll see it in the behavior because it's a little more complex. Uh, but you can see it with the iceberg behavior. Okay, look at this. These are they're buying in here on icebergs. Let's turn the on chart as well on. We'll turn off the stops. And and look at the behavior here between, or the um, not the behavior. Look at the um, relationship. Sellers, um, you know, getting or traders getting stopped out, likely who's on the other side, almost at the same points, almost precisely at the same points. If we have a lot of icebergs buying and it went against them. Okay, so we can even look at these areas here in terms of icebergs and let's mark those up. Okay, let's uh, let's clear out all our, our previous drawings here. Okay. Where did they start to get involved here? Well, there was one actually in here earlier, much earlier at 73 and three quarters. And okay. that started to transact back here around 1030 an hour ago. All right. So and they're still in here and they got filled. Uh, and, and even more got filled all the way down. Okay, so let's mark that up. From here to here, right. icebergs. All right, we see we've done this many times in the past. So, and we already had a retest back to where they they were buying, right? So now, let's look and see if we can get back up to here at seventy three and three quarters. And what if we see big green dots up there? Or we can even trade back up to it. Like right now, let's let, look at look at the buying coming in now. Not a trade recommendation, but looking for them to trade, looking for these buyers to trade it back into not just 72, but 73 and three quarters. Okay, and test back up there again. Now I don't like it. Just again, we don't have the, all the pieces here. We don't have the, a strong bid. We certainly found the buyers. 
the aggressors. We just don't have the strong bid. So we've already trickled back down to where these guys initiated that move. Yeah, this totally is not working out here. Okay, we should get another stop run here to the downside, and we already are. Okay, and let's see if the icebergs start to reaccumulate here. They already are. You see some in here in the current market. It's not a whole lot. It's not a whole lot at all. Anyway, guys, keep an eye out here for this area here. Uh, and we'll maybe take a look at it later, or maybe I'll tweet it out, or maybe we can even revisit it uh, later today. Uh, that... Um, uh, it, and we're, we're just curious right now. We identified a lot of uh, larger players in here. Okay, that's that's 3,150 basically on three different icebergs. Is that a larger player? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's, that's a lot. Uh, especially during this uh, type of, with this kind of volatility or lack of volatility. All right, so we know the position where you know, these guys were buying. Now, we don't know, again, like, were, were they covering or are they buying or is it both? We don't know. We just know that they're buying icebergs, and that's enough. And that's the condition of the order flow. What is an iceberg order? Um, Sam, uh, sure, it, it's, a, it's a hidden, it's like, it's very much like a limit order. Uh, however, it is hidden from the uh, uh, order book. So if we look at the order book or depth of market in here, we know precisely how many orders are at each price level, right? Here's 110, 90, 101. Uh, they want to be buyers here. Sellers are, are you know, going for them uh, and trying to transact with them. They're kind of pulling. And down here, 177. Let's see if they can, can the sellers meet these guys down here at 65. Okay, the, the, someone wants to be a buyer here. They're saying, I want to be a buyer. Sellers want to make that transaction. They're down here. Now, an iceberg would be similar to this. And here's one right there. It just hit one, in fact. 27 transacted here. There is an iceberg still here in the live market, but we do not see it here with 150. This is a good example. If I can, looks like this guy's going to get filled. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, he's transacting more, transacting more. He's still here, right? 135 just transacted, but we don't see him in the order book here. He's not here. It's hidden from the order book. It's an order type that larger players use. Okay, uh, with the CME. The, these are um, native uh, CME iceberg orders. Okay, if it's synthetic, we cannot show it. We can um, simulate it, but we, we can't show it. Now, all right, we had 155 trade. Okay, where are the sellers here? None. Look, more on the bid. Okay, does that mean sellers are finished? Uh, we found a few more. No, they're not finished. They want to. They want to trade lower. They're trading into this area here. And this guy's getting filled 400. He's still in here. He has more. I, there's more hidden orders in here than 400. Look, it's still at 157 here. Okay, look, 7, 7, 744 traded so far here. Between all of this in here. Okay, and we also know that 433 of those. So the majority of them, over 50%. Like 60, 65% are icebergs in here. There he goes. He just traded. Okay. So uh, it was five. He had a 500 lot iceberg order. Okay. That's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good demo, I think, there for you, Sam. It, boy, I, I hope that's not confusing. Uh, that's, a, I, that's about as good of a demo as I can give. Uh, if it is like uh, we can spend more time on it um, or I can point you to some resources here. 
yeah you can go to, you can go to our knowledge base and look up icebergs okay so wow that's a big sell-off uh, again a guy got filled here uh, and uh, let's let's zoom out now okay we're going for low of the day here if you guys can see and sellers are coming in pretty hard pretty hard Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see it in real time, uh, Brian. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Over in, in Discord, uh, you get you guys are the the most important. Um, multiple icebergs here. Yep, Moss. Yep, buy icebergs absorbed down. Yeah, there's still more selling pressure. Exactly, Bert. That's it. CVD. We we didn't cover CVD. But we can throw that up here and go over it quickly. Um, uh, we gotta we gotta kind of um. Uh, end the webinar here, though. Yeah, CVD is dropping here. We're looking for a divergence maybe in CVD now, too. Because we're getting in low of the day. I'm looking for maybe a trap below and then a move back up into the range here. And it, it's actually looking pretty good in, in this sense. We have all those icebergs we identified. Okay, and then here's another 500. So the first test would truly be up, up, up around this, like, 4165 area where those guys were that guy was getting filled here's another one for 442 he canceled that's what the c means the execution means or e means execution t means transaction um so um, that was one iceberg in fact that canceled here at this point they were over here pulled added lower transacted some pulled added lower and then canceled it here likely came back in could be the same player. We don't know, though. Yeah, it, yeah, Bert. I mean, like the, the, these these players, they can, can they icebergs want to get filled, right? So it usually has to trade through them. I mean, if you guys trade limit orders, you know that uh, you, you're you're likely not going to get the price, or you'll get the price you want, but it's going to have to trade through you, most likely. Okay, or, or else you get maybe partially or might hit hit your price level and you don't get filled at all because you're last in the line. It's first in, first out. Okay, Bert, sounds like you, you have some uh, different things you look for with CVD and icebergs. Still more selling, still going lower here. Likely to trade to the, the figure here, 41.50. Look, that's not much of a call. Um, let's look at our bigger picture though, right? God, in fact, this was actually the move we're looking for all last week. If, you know, we have some, here are 15 minute charts, pretty strong, looking for a gap fill down to 47 or so, or maybe, I guess a true gap fill is probably around 40, something like that. Okay, strong selling coming in, guys. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, this uh, uh, bigger picture is this. Makes sense, too. Uh, we were looking for above or hitting into these wicks up here. Well, we did. Okay. And we were looking today because of the strong candle on the daily. We're looking for higher, 84, which already tested, and then and then 4,200. And well, now it's trapped all of that above, and we're below it into the range here, on the daily. Okay, so a move back down and strong selling here. Uh, a move back down to some of these areas here just to begin with, fill the gap, uh, and then we'll have to kind of wait and see. But we were looking for a move up into here and then selling to come in and then move lower. The bigger picture here to me uh, is that this is the trap here, basically. This is the move up above, stop run above these wicks. 
Did we get that? Did we get them like these large stop runs to the upside? Let's take a look. Yeah, we did. And we're getting them to the downside now, too. Okay. So here, bigger picture look was we're looking to trade up into it. And then we know that there's going to be some sellers up here. We know there's going to be some stops here. Uh, and uh, yeah, now it's going to get a, this, this is going to be a little more difficult during the week, I think. Okay, so uh, come back down and maybe test 4100, maybe these wicks down here, uh, 40, uh, 78 or so, 76. Right, this is turning a bigger range. Okay, but uh, we found our sellers, that's for sure. All right, so let's uh, let's look here. A lot of icebergs on the offer now. This is funny. Okay, very small ones, but they're here. And we don't know how much is behind them. We just know how much is transacted so far. Okay, so only eight, four, twenty-five, six. Like you know, not a whole lot of transactions, but they're you know they're they're chasing basically. They're trying to get filled. All right, anyway, and we'll take a look here at our, how, what is the relationship here? We saw these really big icebergs up here, uh, 41.74, and let's look at the bigger picture here. 41.74 is up here. So kind of this, uh, let's look at a 15 minute chart or a five minute chart here. All right, five minute chart. 41.74 is up here. It's this range. This is where they were buying. And they're just getting hammered here. All right. Well, anyway, um, mark it up because a, a retest back up here is not out of the question. And, and uh, I'll mark it up now. Um, but um, we'll take a look at it in this during the week here. All right. All right, guys. Uh, anyway, covered a lot of different things in here today. We covered... Um, uh, stops and icebergs, we cover candles, reading candles, reading the order flow within it. Uh, and probably the most important thing I think today that we were covering here is um, looking for higher probability, uh, something where all the order flow is aligned. Uh, and that was uh, tricky today. We didn't get that. We only had it a few times uh, looking for like uh, uh, the, the move to unfold. Uh, and, you know, with... Uh, that being a, a, a stronger move or a stronger likelihood uh, due to the order flow. All right, so uh, uh, many of them, we only had a piece of it. All right, Jay, thank you. I really, really appreciate. It. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys like these videos, give me, give us a a, a thumbs up there, uh, and and uh, give us a like. Uh, this really helps us um, because we we want to do more of these for you, um, and. Uh, uh, and also have more and more uh, traders in here too. Okay, so uh, cover all different markets, all different styles. Stay tuned. This will segue right into Tom, uh, uh, Tom B. He is uh, trading volume profile, all right? So uh, uh, you, you're interested in that? We covered a little bit of profile in here. Uh, he's an expert in it, all right? So uh, that ought to, uh, oh, thanks, Ryan. Um, uh, that ought to do it for you. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, uh, yeah, watch your levels, read your order flow here, and we'll catch up with you on, uh, on Tuesday tomorrow, same time.
Okay? Thanks for coming.